Oh, we're live. Hello, everyone. Um, well, I'm about to do this round of Freedom Planet. I'm here with Suezi, here with Ponchi. Uh, my name is Revolucion, coming from Argentina, ready for, I don't know, fast, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> so, well, whenever you want. I guess. Oh, oh by the way, I can do this. Fun. Oh, oh I'm just starting. Okay, let's go. Oh no, wait. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. All right, so this is Freedom Planet. This is a Sonic esque game, uh, but with cute girls and combat. Uh, fun to you know more about this than me. Do you want to talk about the main mechanics? I do sure. both now. Uh, so the main thing Lilac does is she does the dragon boost, which is when she like goes in a circle and then that, that's the dragon boost. It drains the meter in the top left, picking up crystals refills the meter, so you got to manage the meter to do the boosty thing because it makes you go fast. Doing repeated dive kicks in the air like he's doing causes your speed to not decay while you're jumping like it normally what? would because it only decays speed what on the way up, not the way down. <laughs> Meanwhile, okay. Revo is mad at video games. <laughs> This is, this is going to be a recurrent Can I reset? Theme. No, you no. cannot. No, you cannot reset. What are you doing? Not a thing. Calm down. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a skip. It, like, you barely notice it. Normally, you're supposed to push a block on top of that switch to make it so that it opens the door. Or you can just ah! boost through it. Oh, be ready for that a couple of times. <laughs> that was, like, too fast. Actually, I got the bad microslope because yeah, so, microslope power thing. So, as you can see, this game goes by very, very quickly. And, um, this I is think the boss fight. This is the boss. No, it's gone. That's okay, one cycle. That's a mini-boss so <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, geez, let's brother. come down. Um, yes. Let's me. So oh, nice. Nice. Smooth. So there's a lot of techniques you can do with cyclones. Uh, when you, if you cyclone jump up a, a slope, you get a bunch of height for some unknown reason. Uh, you can also do a high cyclone. So if you see him trying to do cyclones while pausing, uh, you can sort of buffer a jump with a cyclone to get just a lot more height than you should. I messed uh, up the cyclone. Which is going to uh, be used a couple times during this run. So nearing the end here of Dragon Valley, uh, he's going to do a pretty nice little skip over... Uh, oh, to actually skip the entire boss fight. Uh, uh, nice nice it's such a shame that I've messed up the cycle before. Okay. Getting past those guys is tricky. Hopefully it don't mean I don't miss this. Okay, so on this screen, there's supposed to be a boss fight. We're gonna, like, not do it because Maybe we, we have, don't have a boss to. fight. <laughs> no. We have a boss fight, we're not gonna do it. Like, he's yeah. gonna get on top of the stage and skip the level instead. Yeah. Right there, see? You see the camera, you can't see what you're doing, but he knows the position to boost. And he gets on top. What? what it doesn't matter if you bonk, don't be yelling. What did you bonk on? <laughs> the wall. Ah, oh. No spill. Calm okay, down. so the end level trigger is actually on top of the stage here because normally when you finish the level normally, a little cutscene happens. So you like go out on top of the stage and like does a little dance and runs off the stage, but the trigger's up here. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Please stop this, uh, Revo. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay. I'm very stopping, annoying. I'm we got, uh, why we got an achievement, guys. Can we get an applause for the achievement? Why did you have that achievement before? Actually? <laughs> oh no, this sucks. It's fine. Reset. Oh, okay. okay. Do that instead. Let's I reset. Guess. Let's reset. It's fine. Everything's fine. This is not a bad slow. There you go. That's the big jump. Nice. There we go. I'm just uh, doing the good line. things, but I'll do a little later. Yeah. So very uh, also on the uh, like next screen, we're gonna see the first zip of the of the game. Um, the hardest zip in the fuck. Ah, dice. I wanted to be dice. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, geez, uh, anyway, uh, for this section, you have a purple and. A <laughs> no. <laughs> you have a purple and a yellow path, and you have to uh, on the yellow path hit some buttons, and on okay, the purple path kill a boss. Uh, okay, thank you. Once you've killed, or uh, once you've hit these yellow buttons, uh, there's a little handlebar you're gonna pull, and with the help what? of that, you're gonna push some blocks down, and you're gonna do this. Wee. Boom! You're going through the entire stage. Really complicated. Okay, right? so the net effect of this as well is it makes these purple blocks completely intangible. He just walks straight through them because they're tied to the same trigger of the yellow ones, and it's yeah. supposed to reload it when you go through the door and come out the other one. But we don't do that, so yeah. it doesn't we work. We can get back. Then we reset to get out there very quickly, and then we're moving on oh. to the... Uh, smooth, smooth. I like the adjustment. Nice. I like that. left there very slightly to go on. <laughs> yeah, actually, I had to fix it because it was I a was too high. high. Yeah. Very, uh, see, yeah. presence of mind. I was like, okay. Yeah. Let's press. So, fun cutscene. It's a good moment for donation, if you want. Is it? Do we have time for donation? Is that what I heard? Yes. yes. Great. We've got twenty dollars from spectator saying good luck to Revolution on his run. And somebody, please tell him he has forgotten the cat at home. <laughs> Thank you very much for your donation. Thank we you also got fourteen dollars from Anonymous. Thank you for that. 
and five dollars from M Sushi saying ah. <laughs> 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 That was very loud. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thank you for uh, how it's supposed to I'm be. I'm sorry for that. No problem. <laughs> Not your no, fault. No, it's okay. It's okay. You're welcome. Actually, I appreciate it a lot. We don't need ears okay. in this, in this game. Okay, boost on the ceiling. Dive kick off the ceiling. Roll boost around the corner <laughs> like that. Cyclone off this. Up onto that. Just barely making that. Barely. So barely. Thanks for you saying that. We almost missed it. Thank the you, sequence. Punching. So this, the like, is if you haven't noticed by now, this game is very fast. And Revo, I don't know how he does these things. He just uh, knows I mean, too honestly, much about this I game. Think I got it's, difficult. it's incredibly difficult. I just started like trying to learn this game because I was going to accommodate for this. Um, it did not go well. It's hard. It's really hard. It's, it's going to take a little break here because you can. This is just yeah. an auto scroller. So they are not much harder. We can. Also, may have been noticing that when he goes through certain screens, you see the pause menu quickly. That's him doing what we call a fade out cancel, where if you open the pause menu, oh. press restart, and then. Pause and unpause the game again. It skips the fading animation between the two and just loads it instantly. That works. It just works. It's I don't know why. Time, it it you have to do it in the right place. Yeah. We, we went through and rigorously tested this with every single individual loading screen because it wildly breaks the game on some. This yeah. is one of them. If you do it on this one, you soft lock the game. Yogi was the guy who actually found it's that very fun. like two yeah. years ago. Big shout out to him. Because not all the loading screens. That It works on that one. You can do it on that one. It's all right. Because don't do it on the left one, though. Yeah, you soft lock the game. <laughs> it's really inconsistent. Nah, that's fine. Nice. Oh, fine. Uh, so now coming up is the boss fight of the level, the, mo uh, the monolith, is that what it's called? Mantelith. Mantelith, thank you. Uh, where he's going to try to do a timer freeze. So uh, the in-game timer at the top right is uh, what we use to time the game here. And if you kill this boss's arms and then attack his head twice, before the timer arrives, you actually stop the timer from coming up and you save like a lot of in-game time. Oh no, that's not quite enough. The second one is out, but that's The second one is really, really hard. But the first one is just, it's very so nice. It's a good job. So, a rule job. for the timer in this game is that when it is not physically present on the screen, it doesn't count. This game doesn't have object permanence. So, that actually works. if nice. you kill that boss's phase before the timer comes back on the screen, it stays off the screen, so it doesn't count. It's great. That's allowed because oh, no, in-game in timer that. rules. In-game timer rules. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. He's manipulating the suit. He's keeping it on the left side. He's like he's making yeah. sure. It's yeah, on the actually, so that was uh, very nice. Steady, that was yeah. well intercepted. I follow very Paradise, nice. and actually, it's very consistent. Yeah. Works so, really fine. what he's doing there is using the ground boost. Uh, the ground boost, uh, like every time you see like or hear the sound of it, it does damage basically. And by yeah. doing it close to the wall, it just keeps it going, and does like it just kills things. It's nice. You can also get it stuck against like invisible walls that aren't technically walls, so she kind of like flips upside down and just hangs in place, which is really good for dealing damage against a stationary object. Yeah. Because the, mm. the the key drawback of Dragon Boost power is that it's supposed to make you move through things. Uh, if you can get stuck against something, it doesn't. So you get more power. Which is very fun. Also, uh, what I've learned today is most of these uh, moves actually depend on your speed. Yeah, Dragon Boost does damage proportional to speed. Yeah. That's and there's very one rarely important. That's ridiculous. I yeah. hate that strat. That's... Wow. Nice. Uh, there's one... I forget which boss. Is it? No, it's not this boss. It's, uh, it's actually the boss in this one. We'll talk about that. I remember now. So, uh, also coming up, we're going to do the uh, wrong warp here. Uh, I, I don't exactly know how this don't works. Don't tell people there's a wrong warp. Uh, there is a wrong warp. They don't have to know. I can't be bothered to explain how this okay. works. But basically, if you, you hit this guy's cap, so that shoots himself, it breaks, it bounces in the loading screen, you boost into it, you bounce back out, the game doesn't know what the hell to do and it puts you way forward in the next screen yeah. because it's saving the checkpoint position of the other screen but putting you on the new one. It creates a new checkpoint yeah, somehow. Basically. Well, it just uses the checkpoint values from the last one but the stage value for the next one. And yeah. here's another one. Where there you, we go. Very nicely the, done. That oh. only works on these two screens because those two screens, for whatever arcane reason, were causing like crash bugs when people were going <laughs> through them and bouncing out. So the developer was like, I'm going to fix this to make sure it doesn't like break. But the end result was that. It's better than crash. Oh no. Yeah, it's definitely better than crashing. It's definitely better than crashing. Ah. So there's the uh, oh. mini boss fight. He Pretty bounced quick it there. against the laser because the laser does damage to the boss itself. Oh, that makes sense, actually. <laughs> ah! So, oh jeez. So he's pausing here. Uh, if you do this, I think it's frame perfectly or something. Uh, usually that slows the hell down and. Uh, yeah. Explosion it, it, animation. No, it just saves down. a little bit of RTA. It's not really necessary for I anything. He's doing it. He's doing weird more strats. Oh, I don't oh like no. it. Oh no. Ah, that oh was... no. That was... No! Oh, no! <laughs> no! Get back! <laughs> Come down. Okay. Wait, wait. That okay. was there we go. a really unfortunate cycle because I <laughs> yeah, couldn't have reacted to that. That was, that. That was, that was a really cycle. Well, it was my bad. I, that was uh, a <laughs> gamble and it didn't work. And nah. 
Oh boy. <laughs> My dude, it's alright. Okay, but can he get the cyclone off the zip line? Right that's onto the platform. That has that's nice. very exact. Nice. That's done. very exact. There's a lot of weird things you can do with these zippers, uh, with, like how you get movement from them, and uh, yeah, it's just it's hard. Everything in this is everything in this game can just be explained. It's very hard, but Revo does it because he's a Revo. Picks up the metal shield there. We'll make him immune what to the? certain attacks. Okay, can he get the zip line? This one looks really cool. Nice. Okay. I don't think so. No. I knew it. No, it was slow. You got to do that one super late. You got to delay it a bit. Here we gonna kill the boss. Another pretty it. recurring thing is uh, using the dragon boost when the enemy's moving, and it just, uh, as we mentioned, the, it just keeps like doing damage. Killed that mini boss without even touching the floor. It ain't yep. even a thing. It's easy. Robo Panther. Robo Panther. This is complicated and annoying. Love RNG. Yes. This is the only part in the run that actually matters. Okay, so this boss has a floor that moves, which does really odd things. The property of dragon boost, as in you can now slow it down as you're doing it and get it stuck on the screen like so. So it does big damage if you can get it stuck against the guy, but you can also make it do too little damage because it does damage proportional to speed. So if you slow it down too much, like this, he's slowing it down by holding in the opposite direction to stick to him, but it makes it do less damage. So you got to find the right modulation between speed and damage. Yeah, it's what? Just, it's That's what? crazy okay. good. He popped Wait, that. What? Shit. He popped that well quite. Wow. Sub three. Sub oh, three. Let's three. go sub wow. three. Sub three is nicely done, dude. Okay, it's Very okay. Nice. It's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. It's it goes good. Being a lot worse. <laughs> I mean. My opinion on this level is 238, but yeah, but like not gonna have X, but don't tell them that they don't. No, know. okay, okay. No, that was a new person. That was a new world record. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it yeah the new world record. Sub three. Yeah, yeah we did it. <laughs> <laughs> a couple guys in the chat can respond. Sub three is they know. Okay. Um, um, what's next? We have uh, Sky Battalion, right? This section has uh, three different ships. So you're gonna sort of infiltrate and. I, I guess you destroy their cannons, just just its cannons. Like yeah, that. technically but this stage is non-linear, but we don't play it like that. Yeah, no. So we just we just take the closest one, basically. We uh, do it in linear order. We're boring. Like yeah, that. but it's faster, so it works ah. out. The metal Literally. shield makes him immune to spikes. He lost it, but that's why he didn't take damage from falling on it there. It does yeah. that. Um, yeah. Also, in this in this like uh, in this stage, there's a couple of cannons in the end that you're sort of supposed to destroy to make an MC spawn, but the trigger. Oh, we're fine. Okay. We're fine. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Great. That was just uh, that was good. <laughs> good giving some suspenses. Chill, All right. Yeah. All right. So um, anyway, the uh, for some reason uh, the end trigger of the level is just straight up like at the end of the screen. You don't really need the NPC. Oh, why this? So yeah. you can just do this. Why? No, wait. There. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, All right. You're fine. As long oh, as, fine. as, as, long as nice. you touch the right edge of the screen, it'll, it counts. It doesn't matter yeah. how you get there. So I tried to not fall. I didn't fall any time in practice. We believe in you. <laughs> All right. Nice. Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't. Good. 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 Get that damage boost. Ah! Nope. Uh, not Jeez. quite. I mean, I got the damage boost, just, yeah. just not the jump. <laughs> if you turn in the opposite direction of an attack before you get hit by it... Don't tell me that. You okay, can bounce okay. forward. Okay. He's going for high cyclone. That's... If you pause... Wow. If you jump, pause, and then cyclone after the pause with a very specific timing, the cyclone goes about three times the height. It's really finicky and very annoying, and I don't yes. know how he does it as consistently as he does. I mean, he, he didn't actually do this consistently in practice. He just did it now because he's a mad lad. He just does it. He just does it. It looks, it looks so easy. Now did you press jump spade? twice? And decide? Yeah, this is spade. Um, um, I don't know what he that does. That was spade. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's Right, that's that, yeah. that boss reacts to your movements in a very exact way, so like Revo's sequence of movements there was very exact to keep him in the corner, to keep bullying him. I don't know the second now. But it flies by in like five seconds, so there's no time to really yeah. dig into what's going like, on. A lot of these things, it just looks like it's just going, but he's, it's incredibly specific what he's, do what he's doing like to actually keep the, the speed he does. If you let it get out of control, he starts dashing all over the place and being really annoying. Oh, yeah. I almost got it. Damn. Crystal cycle is like global, it's annoying. A no, cheeky, actually, oh, yeah. they're ship guys. Uh, so th that was just uh, restart to the checkpoints. Uh, just brings a little bit further into the level. Because why not? It's faster. It's faster. <laughs> actually, it's uh, RTI about the same time on in game time faster. Like, but I see it's all that matters. And. A couple more cycles. And now we're gonna do the last boss here, where he's like sort of floating in the air. Uh, there's also a thing you can do in this game called a high uppercut. Where if you press a jump and attack on the same frame while holding up, you will do a higher version of the uppercut move. Ah! Um, but cool. okay, we're fine, we're fine. Yeah, it's we're very, it's very intuitive. Okay. The thing with Revo is yeah. he has a controller on the side of his keyboard. Yes. And it, can we just show this to the camera? Because yeah. this is the dumbest thing he has. This is like a 15-year-old controller with one button working. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even like it's off-brand. It's not even like L1, yeah. L2. It's, or it's, it's, it's five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah. 
So there's one button that works, and that's what he uses for acrobats. I don't know why he does this, he, but he, it works, so you, whatever. There's a certain thing with the way the game's engine works where it lets you bind multiple actions to the same gamepad button, but that's not true of the reverse. So if yeah, you have a gamepad by your side, but you can uh, enable dice. extra keys. Dice, dice. Yeah, dice, dice. It's, just, it's just silly. Oh yeah, this is a boss fight, by the way. Oh yeah, we should fight. You gotta hit all the feathers and then hit the dude in the head. So he hangs on the very edge of the ship and boosts all through it clean in one go. That like is that. so nice. I love that strat. Yeah. I actually recall when we were very competitive with Vlad and he was like uh, doing the old strat, keeping it nice. for like nice. well done. three months until I found this. And he was like, how I didn't see that before. By the way, shout out to Vlad and yeah, so a lot of people in the free and planning community, they're awesome. Um, well, that was Cavatalium. That was Cavatalium, that's fun. Uh, and okay, it's Cavatalium. Is it Jade, Jade Creek next, right? Yeah, yes. Yes. Okay, cool. The stage yeah. is fire! Global Cycles time! I'm global Cycles. Woo! Do you like Global Cycles? Don't be moaning about Global Cycles, this stage owns. It's fine. Okay. So yeah, there's, there's like a lot of water here, and there's some instant, interesting things you can do Super with li li Lilac in water. Yeah! Uh, that you can I do. Love that. If you do like, it's a dive kick cyclone cancel like immediately. Yeah, it's the same rules in air. Like the rules yeah. between air and water don't actually work differently. Because you're dive kicking up out of the water, you're not swimming down, therefore your speed doesn't decay, so you just rise up out of the water instantly. We yeah. call it super swimming because we steal all our trick names from Zelda games. <laughs> Yeah, oh. pretty much that. Please make it. Okay, and, uh, There's a really nice. Hopefully, he can get the cycle in the end. Um, there's a really nice sequence. To this. Also, I don't know if you have talked about this at all, but like this character has, or this game has three different characters. They all have very different playstyles and very different movesets, sets, and it's really very fun. Very different runs, and like Rebel is yeah. one of the few people who's like pretty good at all three of them. Yeah. Which took like five years of the game being out for someone to get that good. I mean, have you seen the amount of hours this man has put into this game? Slips under the ceiling like that. That's it's beautiful. Actually, that's the thing I had to fix because uh, there's a fun story about me and the inputs of this game. Uh, that actually, basically, I did realize last night that I was playing um, with the wrong setup. Pretty much. Not really wrong. His uh, his computer ba uh, back at his home apparently just takes oh. inputs differently for no reason. That was very nice, by the way. Casually made Holy late crap. while talking about inputs. I'm actually ahead of the cycle. This is a mini boss. Uh, normally, she's supposed to get shields like the players that you have to hit the shields off her. But if you just bully her, she doesn't because you yep. put them there too quickly. You just don't let her get it. Shields, it's easy. So this is the cycles he was talking about. It's about the cycle of the water. Where the water is is based on the global cycle of the timer. You can manipulate this by restarting yeah. the game at certain points. Yeah, so this it is good. If you need the water level at a certain place in order to enable a spicy super swim here, big jumps, a quick rise up of the water, Let's go. There you go. get max speed, goes clean over the holes, a big jump onto the box, oh. straight oh. out. Oh, that's oh, sequence. Go. Yo, that's Let's sequence. look. Let's go, dude. I think that's that was super not nice. Actually, uh, I had to totally improvise because I had a weird cycle. Uh, if if the water rare. cycles off, that doesn't work. If you mess up any part of it, that doesn't work. If you screw up any part of the sequence, that does not work. By the way, I didn't have any sub three in practice. This is the one then. No one wanted to jinx it, but actually this is a best. I say this is pace. This, this is, is actually this is a great really, day this tree. Really good. This is a fantastic day I mean, tree. Even with the safe fight, I don't need this. The, the thing one. with the global cycles, by the way, uh, the way you manipulate them is like when even when the game is loading, it still goes through the global cycles, but the IGT is paused. Show me boss fight. Alright, let's go with the boss fight. So, so you this can drag is no, I oh, the wrong no. Way. That's all right. Oh no, oh, it's no. not all right at all. He just shielded there. He does a bunch of. I, I'm gonna up. have the inverter cycle. Starts doing the higher cuts to get up to him. Do some attacks, cyclones, and then some. You know, dragon moves. The There's a lot of things happening. Um, <laughs> the the I think this it's the cyclone or the, the helicopter. He's trying to track it oh, across. Oh, He's got the big oh. one. The Let's big go. one! Why Stop do it. you do that? Why? I hate that. that <laughs> uh, because it was a good cycle. I know that cycle. That is an inverter cycle. That happened because I got the bullet train. Nice. Actually, the chopper cycle is mowing left, uh, up, down, and left, right, and it changes a lot this depending fine, on... This is fine, by the way. Well, yeah, the, uh, half, the, <laughs> the time in the previous but... screen. Okay, speaking of cycles... Oh Speaking boy. of cycles. Oh yeah, cycle. Thermal, thermal base has a lot of cycles. So, the first thing he's going to do is a very precise movement. He's going to take these crystals to get a dash early, and just... Try to keep the speed throughout most of this level. Ah, oh, uh, that's really bad. I, I, I really love the free well, cycle. Uh, right out of the Why gate, you're working against a, a tight idea. timing for a cycle for a zip. Yep. Uh, it's based uh, on the movement of certain idea. moving platforms. I don't know the second I'm getting. Uh, we'll uh, see. Very late one. 
this is this is the nature of Freedom Planet. You botch one thing, and the like everything yeah. kind of goes with. That's that's. <laughs> so still, at this it. point okay. here, uh, ah. we have to wait. Ah. Actually, can you do it? Okay. No. no. Okay, wait one cycle. Attempt, so, but no. One usually, if you do everything nice, there you go. nicely done. I mean, that's very nice. Like it's a good backup. I mean, it was you know like what I mean. two cycles. Come down. Uh, it was good. Uh, so that was a very. That's actually a really, really hard sip to get because it's like you don't really have a setup for it. You just kind of have to feel for it. This next sip is gonna do very soon. Is the easiest sip in the entire game. It's very easy to do by accident. That is fun. Even yeah. that, yeah. If you can describe with the mold this sip and the well, the spoiler sip, uh, it's the same object. Yeah. But with the difference that so this we're gonna is use these boxes. He's gonna knock them up three times. He's this. gonna get clipped there, and then he's like, whoop. He's gone. Two crates up against each other. They don't like that. Uh, they try to leave you each can other. You actually throw boxes. Yeah. All right. This this cycle is cool. I hope. Hope. This I'm flying is into the octopus room. Flying get into many it. Kicks ah. Get this on the ceiling. Let's go. Okay. Yes. Okay. That is the cleanest thing in this One goddamn game. So okay. Got the speed, but it was not the first version. Still a version I take. It can be a lot worse. There's another mini boss. This this guy has uh, is the highest health in the game, yeah. right? <laughs> For some <laughs> reason, this so mini boss health. has like more health than like all the other bosses, even like the final final boss. And then this guy's like no health. He's just dead. <laughs> <laughs> it makes no sense. Yeah, it's just a quick more health than Brevon. Brevon. By the way, shout out yeah. to Serpent for having more health than Brevon. Yeah, it's uh, it's silly to say the least. Little um, type kicks to change direction there is very nice as well. Hmm. Type kicks is a very useful move. Well, maybe it's a good time for donations since this is very obvious. Yeah. Oh yes, we've got <laughs> tons of them, so wow. I'm going to speedrun them. Let's please. go. I believe okay, you. Go ahead. So we've got ten dollars from Ice Cold Side saying no cats, so sad. Shame. <laughs> we've got sixty dollars from Anane saying this freedom planet run is really amusing, and two K just flew by too. Good amazing work. going oh, so yeah. far. ESA hype. Hi. Hi. Hype. I can't hear it. Come on. Hi! Oh. There we go. Very good. There we go. And we've got fifty dollars from Dan Luke saying, "Ah, I'm not going to shout that anymore. I don't That's want fair. to ruin your ears." Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. Ah. Uh, so yeah, uh, he did a little skip there. So uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, nice. actually, I was calculating. Okay. Okay. So those crushers, if you touch anything with that, with like one pixel of your body, you just die. Immediately. Immediately. So that's really precise, so well done. See, he, uh, was, he, was, he was counting the cycle in his yeah. head, he counting cards. Yeah, okay. he, just, he just knows, this, this, this is insane. Uh, also, like earlier he did a skip where he just like went against the water, which you're not really supposed to Time do. For brain oh yeah, here, brain damage. you can just bonk your head against this wall and get a little bit of height and just skip like half the auto scroll a little bit less maybe the i don't know exactly slow. yeah the auto is, the it doesn't faster. scroll auto fast no, that doesn't make sense here's a boss fight <laughs> i don't know much about the boss fight you just the sort best of phrase is pretty much um actually it's a good another good moment for donation but probably we already don't have so <laughs> no we have even more yeah, oh even more. let's go go ahead go, go ahead, ahead. got 20 dollars from Amber Cyprian oh, saying, Amber. Hey all, Amber here. This is the only run of the menu that I want to see that I can catch live. Why? And I wanted to support my friend Revo during his <laughs> Freedom Planet run. Shout outs to both commentators and the lovely TGH and Drago Dan in the background. Good luck, ah. Revo. I love you all. PC Eggman. <laughs> Eggman. God damn it, Amber. I'm going to learn Thank you very much, last, Amber. By the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amber is like, I promise. You do that. I promise. Because he ah, can. Because it's fun. You have ruined the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I can ruin it. Revo doesn't more. like Sage complete screens. He's seen them too much. I think that's a problem. We have even funnier. All uh, right, so that's this is Pango Lagoon. This has a couple of interesting strats. This has unique mechanics. And also this that, yeah. The reason yes. I bought the game. Oh really? Yeah. It's got Japanese lyrics on the soundtrack, and a friend of mine was like, "What does this say?" And I was like, "I have no idea, but this song's awesome." Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. So there's a couple of things you get. You get this boost. Good story. This is a very good boost. It does that's, a lot of things. That's the Super Dragon boost. Yeah. It puts you up to the speed cap, and it lets you do two boosts in a row, so you can get to big speed. Nice. And you only get it in this level, for some reason. So you're going to have character you need to There's also, uh, like, arrows. You, is it, yeah, this arrows in this level. They can use, but they're really slow, so you don't really use them. Um, what else? There's some, there's some, there's some thing? No, I think it's good. No, that's it. Yeah, so you, just, you really jumped over the arrow there, because it's just slow. We have another attack. Oh yeah? Uh yeah. In a second. Am we'll I done? We'll see. Oh yeah, they're the spinny boys, but also very slow. Ah fuck. Damn. Yikes. Unfortunate. 
Wow, you can make a slow um, boost your speed there, but it'll speed in the first one. He's trying to get Very small speed boost off the tiny ah. dips in the geometry because yeah. Revo doesn't know when to not do things. Like in the uh, in the last level thermal base, there's like mines on the floor. They were like very Everyone very there, small. There. They have like three pixels. Oh yeah, you can do this by the way. Yeah. Because why not? That's not even uh, open <laughs> the door and enter. No, it's not it's even faster. slower. It just, it just does it. It's not even slower. <laughs> it's not even slower. It's the same time. Uh, there is uh, a possible frame that is available to enter there. Um, basically, uh, it's the same frame that just. So here it off. he's gonna do a height. Ah, oh no! It's you can do a very like tight cycle in there or height cycle in there. And the input itself is get up the good. entire thing. It's very hard it's though. It's also partially random because where the bugs are. Oh yeah. Very, and then they get in your way, so you don't always get that one. No matter. Uh, how I, well I don't know do. if you didn't know this. There were a lot of bugs there. Not many people noticed that. A lot of bugs. Man. Yeah. It's a lot of bees. Are there bees or bugs? I, or are, are bugs? Are beast bugs? I almost got I it. I don't know. I Hopefully. don't know either. Anyway, this is free. <laughs> Those are wasps, I think. And our, I guess that makes more sense. Uh, yeah. Cycle and RNG basil. I don't know exactly. Flat now. I just <laughs> wrong. Oh, by the way, I don't like at all not having the shield. Hopefully that doesn't bring what's going to happen now. It'll be fine. It shouldn't, but I'm very special. And a couple of dashes here to get up to this handlebar. Drop all the way down. And now it's time for boss fight. This boss fight has a very weird quick kill. Uh, oh, thank you. So, see, uh, people was not supposed to know that because I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> uh, that is a big meme this game has that a changed me for a long time. Uh, Pangalong was the first I like grinded officially. And actually, I had a lot of big chokes in the quick kill. And even being a super easy thing. Yeah, so he's gonna do this laser attack. Then he's gonna run through like the entire wall, and if you just stand here and attack, it just takes out like everything, and I don't know why. Um, and then he, if you wait and after these, hopefully you just do this, and he's dead. Go. And he broke the screen. And you just <laughs> yeah, just because it's fun. That's a quick kill of that boss. Okay, it's very so nice. the attacking of the orbs on the dragon's back is actually completely unnecessary. What is actually happening there is that he is hanging on the right side of the screen, such that the orbs are too far off the boundary, which causes them to just despawn entirely. Oh, okay, that makes sense, actually. Attacking them or not doesn't actually matter, we just do it because of buttons. It's fun. Okay, here's an auto-scroller. That was actually a very, very good time for I'm gonna try, I don't know, to kill because everything. Yeah. yeah. Just, just so, uh, have something to do. Now, now is the time for donations. Go ahead and go for some donations. Yeah, definitely good time for donations. Oh, yes. How We've got $5 from Susan saying, I'm so hyped for ESA, got myself two 20-piece boxes of chicken nuggets in celebration. <laughs> Greetings from Germany. Greetings from Malmo, Sweden. And Hello. thank you to Malmo City for hosting our event and making us feel at home. Epic. You guys need to work on your donation checking. <laughs> You're still really bad at it, guys. You're still doing really bad at it. What? At what? Never mind. Okay. Never mind. It's a, uh, yeah, it's an old meme. Okay. Um, uh, well, basically this mob is just uh, fighting and shooting stuff, and it doesn't count in game time, so basically it's the same if you game over five times, please don't your runs, I'm, I don't want to verify that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, Basically, like after the map you have a boss and then the longest level. Also, because we play on uh, we play on casual difficulty because it's easiest. I think it kills uh, everything. Like even if you like just take damage, it's really just regenerated all back. So you don't really have to. You can basically do nothing that entire phase and still be alive. And here you just spam buttons and that's 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 the auto scroller done. What are you doing? What? Up. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, it's on. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's this is not snow. This is salt, by the way. This is battle glacier. Uh, this. I don't even know. This is just a very, this is a very interesting stage. It has a lot of these purple blocks just appear. Uh, obviously, Revo knows like exactly where everything is gonna be <laughs> uh, because he's played the game for a bit. Uh, ah. Also has some interesting uh, skips coming up a little bit earlier, or a little bit later. That could have been a lot worse. But yeah, Bethesda is not exactly a super insane or terribly hard level, but it's super long, so it's yeah, always it's a the, challenge it is because it's hard to not mess up yeah. when it's a long stage. It's the longest uh, level in the run. Oh, we do an upper round. Yeah. And we can actually get in the Nice. Oh, wow, very okay. Good that job. is kind of new. Also, a uh, thing we're going to see pretty soon. Uh, nice. Oh. Nice to done. Uh, pretty soon, there's going to be like yellow blocks that he has to break. There's missiles uh, that just go up and down, and he's uh, just going to destroy the blocks with those. Pretty self explanatory. But there's a nice setup you can do for a couple of them. Ah! 
So the, these missiles here, you're gonna attack them uh, and break these blocks. There's two there, so he just breaks them both with uh, with like the two. The uh, hitboxes on them are oh, no. rounded, which means they're oh, excruciatingly precise yep. to like get them in without hitting the ones around the edges. If you play this casually, like I I played this casually not too long ago, and it's um, it can get finicky. It's pretty finicky. That Revo is a stone cold pro. It makes it look like nothing. Yeah, it's not this easy. Very nice of them. Okay, the nightmare of the casual. <laughs> yeah, this boss is, is very like tricky for casual to do. Uh, basically, you just uh, this is not about dealing damage per, day, per se. It's just like hitting him a certain amount of times. Yeah. Um, and you can like basically you can just chain hits here. You can manipulate the way he jumps with the. Uh, is it the way you're facing when he's jumping? I don't quite remember. Yeah, it's where you're moving. Are you moving? Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. So the, if you move like slightly uh, the, right, the right way, he'll just jump like nicely for you. Um, yeah, but that's a nightmare for uh, for, for casuals. Time. Now there's a lot of cash. Not of cycles with these uh, moving blocks. Also gonna see a a. Uh, well, he's gonna attempt to sip pretty soon here. Hopefully. Uh, it right here. It he's gonna do a me. setup and close this wall. Hopefully he's getting on the right pixel. Uh, apparently this. And do this. Here we go. Nice. Literally Very pixel nice. perfect. Pixel yeah, actually, perfect. That is skip. not even Again. meaning for once. It's great. It one like entire that. pixel. That is something rare. In one this game. entire pixel. Yeah. It's a complete round pixel. That is not common on this game. Very so, nice though. Well, this is about the issue too. Um, now I do a spike jump. I uh, didn't work. Actually, I lost a shield. Um, yeah, so yeah, he has a shield. It was big damage. Very nice. A lot of things with these, these green and red uh, things that just open up different paths. It's pretty self-explanatory. There's like one part if you retry, it sort of gets a bit messed up, but you, you just go through it normally and you're fine. Hmm. Ah, ah, busted there. So bad. Okay. Now, do you remember the spider we saw in Dragon Valley? Well, this version is a lot easier. It's attack deck and, uh, and, and he's done. So. That's a, I guess, a mini boss technically. Yeah, technically. Staircase dive kick. This level has a lot of mini boss, but we skipped a lot of them. Yeah. Oh no, this is not good. Oh, oh that's the oh. typical drills. No. Oh. This is not. This gets finicky. There we go. And ah, okay. Also, these Those switches, switches are, are like extremely sensitive. Yeah, they're, if you like are like a couple pixels off, and then you go back, you you just hit them again. It's it's annoying. Here we go. Okay, now we go for boss fight. This is Prince Dale. Yeah. Uh, you can do this. It's a higher uppercut into a dragon boost into the wall. Gives a little bit more height, and you cycle and you hit him. Uh, you have to hit him uh, how many times? Uh, two, uh, the two, two to break the shield. Two break the shield. And then one. Seven faces. And then you have to hit him like. Uh, and for each time he does Thank this, you. he gets one cycle off. He's reaching over to press his joypad every time <laughs> to do the uppercut. <laughs> it yeah. looks pretty funny, but it works. So um, mixed you know. control style is the way forward. Apparently, there we go. That's, that's a very a fight. good fight. Very nice about. Very good. It's okay. Don't be I like survived. Good. I survived. Bravo. No one knows anything. Just say it's very Take good. Take it for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an actually long cutscene. So if you have some donations, maybe a good moment. Sure. We've got five dollars from Boombox saying, "Never seen a Freedom Planet run before, but I'm glad I have. This run is a rich as as a gold nugget. Good luck." And we've got also twenty-five dollars from Andrew saying, "Say thank you, speedrunners, for making the world brighter." I'll make thank this you explicit. Very much Chuck for your the donation. donations about nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's your thing about nuggets? No, uh, I'm not sorry. Uh, all right. So. We'll so uh, starting the last part of the game, the yes. final dreadnought. Um, we have uh, four parts of final dreadnought, uh, <laughs> and each thing has like a little, little Com thing to it. Yeah. Uh, you want to take number one? One two. I zoned out a bit. What? What? <laughs> I zoned out a bit. What? <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about so final dreadnought one? Oh yeah. So yeah, this is one of the more competed over levels in Freedom Planet's like speedrunning history. Ah. Then. Mostly because it's all based Ricardo around tight cycles. So these pylons, they go off every few seconds, and it's based on like the the global timer. So if you're slightly off, there's it rounds to certain numbers because of that. There's only so fast one can go, but we need to go that much faster to achieve a new cycle. I have no idea what cycle this is at this point. Uh, uh, one of, one of them. Don't either. I think it's uh, probably I need a long blast. I don't know. I'm gonna try. Nice. That's. Oh, oh no, nice. that was bad. No, it was good. Oh, oh nice. Okay, okay. We're lucky. Okay. Lucky is pure skill. 
Okay, here we go. Cycles. So in this section, there's like airlocks, which supposed to like just push you down, but you know, we're speed. We just go through them because we can. Please, 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 please. Thank you. But in instead of this, because cycles said maybe. If you're fast enough, the airlocks don't even like have time to start, which is very nice. Oh. Oh, dang. Second one. Nice. So that only works if you do an attack and hit an enemy within like a couple of frames of hitting the teleporter. It conserves your speed as you go through the teleporter. I don't know why that works, but it do. It does. So whatever. Wonky ah! boost going straight up right. Nice. You do big damage. I'm here for that. If you get it exactly right, you can kill the first phase immediately, but it takes a precise angle. Well, not that it takes position on angle. Angle is always the same, dude. That's okay. that's FD1. That FD1. Very nice. All right. One of the levels. Now we have FD2, but this is a, the most infamous skip nah, in, in Freedom Planet. this is an easy level. <laughs> this okay, is an sure. easy level. Yeah, sure. FD2? Of course. FD2. It's, it's easy. the easiest level in the run. It, it just has this one just trick that is uh, pixel, has, pixel uh, perfect and frame perfect. Yeah, it's fine. Just this, uh, uh, so we're going to talk. This is, easy. He's going to do Dreadbox. Um, he's going to get a box jumping on top of him. Do a boost into the wall, jump up on the block, and then get sipped through this floor. It, I don't know why it works. Just hopefully. Oh. oh. So he has to set this up. Big frame and ready. pixel perfectly. Yeah. Let's try it, uh, this adopt. We have a setup. It's pause buffer. I don't like it, but. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's great, Trace. Do the great job. Oh ah, it's no. It's great. If you there's two pixels that can work. One of them it, uh, is like 100%. If you're on that pixel, it will work. Actually, there the are other like one a is more. actually like sub pixel ah, dependent. And if you do it, one there's like a more? chance okay. so you can make it depending on your sub pixel. Ah. Oh no. Is there reason? Okay. Oh, what? Way the way no way. way. <laughs> no. <laughs> there's a way to go. This stuff is completely worthless. Nah, shout out to three because you actually it may. Are you serious, Revo? <laughs> I mean, that's the old red box. That's like. Very, very inconsistent. Yeah, that's extremely seconds. like just as precise. That's the Lamau Yolo version. How? Still, shout out to Trees, uh, who actually was supposed to be here but didn't make it with well uh, time and stuff to organize. Uh, he's uh, the person who found the setup for Dreadbox, and actually that made the Kateria look less uh, punishing to run because yeah, actually like, Dreadbox is still done, but not that dumb. Yeah. So like I, I just I recently just picked up this game and I could do. Dreadbox in like 10 minutes because of the setup. Let's tell them. It's very, very helpful. So good job. Thank you, Tris. Okay. And now. So with his F2, he's like gonna try to get a key. He has to like cycle these moving blocks. It's just some platforming. It's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Nice. There we go. He's doing a lot of precise things. Don't touch. Okay. Oh. High cyclones. And Deku, your strat. <laughs> that sounds like another 25 minutes. Oh. Did you hear Deku? <laughs> Oh, oh that nice. That's, <laughs> that's also a sip, by the way. Yeah, you can use Team for your strat, man. Mela wants Feel to help proud. you out and give you like air shields, uh, but we just use them to sip because that's faster. That's about it. There's two. Very nice. The first one saves a lot of time, ah. the second one, not that much, but. You know. I don't have gone for. Ah, never mind. Three times save. There is a elevator save that is pretty much last only. It's obnoxiously sub pixel based. Oh, yeah, that one. Some things you can get if you get why not. Oh, me knowing. Okay. Okay, what yeah, one? he skips so he gets to the boss fight quicker. This is big ser serpentine. Exactly, it's That's like Giga thing. Serpentine is how we call it normally. Yep. And I have it the bad one already. I mean, not terrible, just bad. So Robo does this fight on the left side so he can bounce off the wall repeatedly while dragon boosting, but it also means if he screws this up, he dies because he falls into the hole. Yeah, but he doesn't there screw up. It's it's free. Something fun. It's not free. You it's really not free at all. Never mind. Don't want to die after killing Serpent because if you have, if you do that, you can hit everyone saying again, uh, for and not hit but it and just you start again like the, 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 from the beginning of the screen. It's like 50 seconds loss. I don't know. Uh, it's a lot. FC3. FC3. I don't know this level. Uh, it's super fast. <laughs> it's very fast. It's and a lot cycles of cool. and more cycles. There's a lot of this, like, there's more to this game that cycles than you might realize. Because there's like an enemy movement that's cycle based, and, you know, it's it's a lot of cycles, that's all I have to say. Yo, the rebound off the wall. What? The rebound off the wall. I haven't Salto seen it. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, no. Ah, too fast. Barely. The, the doors that's don't a, open Yeah, the jump is, like, actually super fast. The door cannot keep up with the speed, the cycle, that's that the one. thing. Brevin is the best villain just because of that one line. I love that line. It's just so, dang, so dumb. Oh. oh no. 
Okay, we have backup. This is bad, but can be worse. Damn. Oh no. Okay, let's go the old way. There is a stupid loop I'm not even trying right now, but basically uh, the way the game should be intended to do, you should get the, the loop, but um, sub pixels, I don't know. Ah! Oh no. That was important. Sorry, you can recover speed. You're fine. So yeah, you can just run through these enemies. I don't exactly know why. It's something with that you, you have, they have to be attacking, right? But am I right? I don't remember. Yeah, basically the enemies have a hitbox and a hurtbox and they are different. Yeah, so he just, just runs through them, it's fine, don't worry about it. them, you don't get hit. You don't need to be touched by something that actually deals damage, that has a, an, an order to give damage. Okay. Deal damage. Makes sense. Ah. Okay, Very nice I'm getting the high there. cyclones. Nice. nice. And now I say that... No, I actually nice. got... Oh, there you go. Yes, there we go. As I mentioned, those high cyclones are really, one. really, really hard. Ah. All right, so now is the very sad moment to run. Uh, our friend Mila. Oh, you can put it fine. here. Oh, you can. Fine. Good. Our friend Mila is getting uh, attacked by Brevin. It's very sad. I, am I Brevin now? Apparently. Apparently, yeah. You like Brevin right now? So uh, Mila gets crazy. <laughs> gets crazy. Gets crazy. And she transforms. I don't have a transformer. Ah, we sorry. have to kill her. So basically, uh, we have one phase. So one phase in the air, one phase. Or you can get two if you're good, like that, and you bounce nice. off the seal. And double phase skip. Then the last one in the air, and very good. She is dead. Mila book. Yeah, that's Mila. And that's FT3. Oh now there's just one more level to go. And oh, uh, Mila is, Mila is very sad. The camera angle again. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the uh, the big bad guy Brevin is uh, or Light Lake is very mad. Yay. Uh, um. <laughs> yeah, you can actually do. <laughs> you are aware that can crash the game, right? Wait, what? <laughs> can it really? Yeah, if you get it stuck up there. Oh, I didn't know that. That was interesting. Anyway, so now FD4 um, has a couple of zips you can do uh, up this, these walls. So this is like a very high level. Uh, let's see. He's gonna he's go for He's really once. doing the, the bad one where it like. Uh, oh no! Yeah. I don't only do the one check when yeah. Don't worry. You can sip through that wall if you're on the right pixel and the right sub pixel. It's a sub pixel it's, dependent. It's a sub pixel perfect kind of deal. It's like. It's I don't. Is it nah. just one sub pixel? No, I don't it's really not one sub. It's like yeah. a range. No, but it's there are a lot narrow. of combinations. You yeah. Can get. But basically, it's like sub pixel uh, it dependent. Sucks and it's not practical, which is why I'm annoyed he went for it. Yeah. This one's a lot easier. See, now he's in so the now wall. Just, you just, just go, go all the way to the so top. So you, you can do that on the left side with the setup he did earlier, uh, which saves more time, but... That one at least saves time, so... Uh, I got the, like, the 28 second cycle, and that is like two cycles um, less optimal done. So this laser does a lot of damage, but since we're on casual, it doesn't do that much damage, and we can just boost through it. Actually, we use the laser. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's exactly what I said. You can use laser damage to boost you up, uh, because because casual basically. That that would easily kill you on any other difficulty. Yeah, you barely survive it on this difficulty or any other difficulty. We just annihilate you. Yeah, yeah, basically this is a one shot in any other difficulty. Probably not in easy, but in normal and hard. In yeah. hard is the definite. Yeah. I mean, in normal we had some strats with partial damage boost, but uh, getting some part of damage and not all. Probably all was a one shot. I don't remember honestly. Who plays in normal the way this? All right, so we're on the final fight now. Uh, there's. Three phases? Yeah, yeah, three phases. First is the ship phase again. Uh, we've seen it a couple of other times. So it's just, he's going to hit the thing a couple of times, manipulate the way he jumps. Uh, pretty, the same as the other ones. He has a couple new attacks, but, you know, it, it's done. So, don't that really see them. One that was nice. Oh, so, in man. the next one, Brevin comes out and he has his battle suit. Um, now we have to destroy the battle suit, basically. Yeah. It's a kind of mecha or something like that. Yeah. We call it Brevon 2. Brevon 2, makes sense. Yeah, he just has to do an amount of damage. Now he's dead. He restarts immediately to like um, quick make this uh, cutscene go quicker. Now it's just Brevon left. So time is coming up. If phase 3 goes by faster than you can blink, especially like a mono and mono fight. Um, oh, okay. Time. Okay. Time. 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 I wonder what the time was because it was so far the best run I had <laughs> since really? I arrived here. <laughs> nice. It was not really good, but probably it was a 33. I don't know. I think maybe it was a 33. I think it was probably a lot 34. 
Not sure. I don't know. Don't. I, I mean, Dribbles D. was bad, but not that bad. Uh, what level counting. actually was terrible? Uh, Were you not counting the in-game time verse? Uh, the first fair. levels. Uh, the first two were all bad. Nah, maybe it's 34. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see the actual in-game time, which is the now, time. Uh, as I mentioned, this game, the in-game time is what we go to. Uh, a quick shout out to everyone, uh, speedrunners in Argentina that are actually supporting me, and also the guys in Brazil. I met some of them, and they're really cool people. So, and you, 33. Eh, it's okay. Eh, nice. It's very okay for my so best from the and uh, uh, and also big shout out to the rest of uh, Freedom Planet community and well, uh, other people here at DSA having a great time. So yeah. well, something else to add? I think we're good. We are all good. Thank you for watching everyone. Well, Hope you enjoy the rest of the marathon. We're done here. And thanks for having me. We're out.